What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. I tried to go live with y'all, man. You know, I like to go live with breaking news like this, but my internet service providers out there in the freaking lines doing all kinds of whim whams, you know? Don't they know they got a YouTuber on the street, man? Anyways, let me get into this story. I'm gonna try not to have to edit this at all. I'm just gonna speak uh, my mind on the whole situation. Lil Wayne, man. He got tricked up again, ladies and gentlemen. Tricked up again. Lil Wayne charged by feds for possession of firearm and ammo. <sighs> Lil Wayne's just been hit with federal weapons charge and could face prison time if convicted. If convicted. <laughs> with the feds, I just don't think there is an if. You know, there's a saying in prison that says, if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. I don't know really what that means, but people said it all the time, you know? And I think this could be one of the times, I guess you could say it, right? If if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. But we're not all drunk. And if is not a fifth. And there ain't no such thing as if with the feds. Maybe, maybe, you know, the only way I think he's going to get out of this situation, okay, is if someone takes the heat for it. You know, someone says, hey, yeah, that was my gun, man. You know, that's, that's the only way I can really possibly think. But then again, he's not allowed to be around weapons at all, correct? You know, and this... This boggles my mind as well. Like, are these guys allowed to be around their bodyguards? Are bodyguards allowed to be on the plane with weapons and shit if they're not allowed to be with weapons? You know, are you allowed to be in the house with your wife if your wife owns a weapon? You can ask yourself all those questions. You know, of course, there might be some loopholes or what. But let me go ahead and keep reading this for you. The U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Florida has charged a rapper with one count of possession of a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon. Not good, old Wheezy. Baby. Wheezy, who was convicted of a felony gun charge in New York back in 2009, faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted. The charges for December 2019 incident where federal agents searched Wayne's plane at Miami Opa Loca Ex <laughs> Executive Airport. I seriously doubt I did not say that correctly, but shit. Florida gotta be extra, don't they? He was a passenger on that plane, which made a stop in Florida on its way to California. At that time, Wayne's attorney has said his client was clear to leave even though guns and drugs were reportedly found on the plane. It appears now the feds believe Wayne was wrongfully in possession of a weapon and ammunition. Why do they believe that now? Probably because someone dropped dime on his ass. Someone's got to pay the price for bringing guns and ammunition on a plane? And was this a private plane? You know, uh, I'm guessing it is because just a second ago I read to you the charges for a December 2019 incident where federal agents searched Wayne's plane. I don't know. Wayne's plane sounds like it was his plane to me. It appears now the feds believe Wayne was wrongfully in possession of a weapon and ammunition. Carter was charged for possessing a gold-plated handgun in his luggage back in December. The lawyer says there is no allegation that he ever fired it, brandished it, used it, or threatened to use it. There is no allegation that he is a dangerous person. It doesn't matter if you're dangerous or not, dog. It matters that you brought freaking guns in 2020 onto a plane at an airport. You don't do that shit. Does anybody have the right to do that? Bodyguards, anything like that, do they? I don't know, but if you're a convicted felon, you better tell those bodyguards to ride in a different fucking plane. Why are you going to have them in any kind of proximity near you if that's the situation? You don't have guns, period, around you if you're a convicted felon. And you're a superstar. And you already went to lock up for, for bullshit like this before. What's this dude doing, man? Are these the dumbest criminals I've ever seen in my life? Look, I'm not even that popular for real. I'm just a petty old YouTuber, you know, talking about crimes here and there. Even if I wasn't a damn YouTuber, hey, if I'm getting in a car, if I'm getting in a plane, none of y'all fools better have a gun around me. I'm going to pat your ass down before you get in my car if I know you're known for carrying weapons. I'm going to pat your, I'm going to strip search your ass if you come onto my damn personal plane. You ain't bringing no guns around me. You're not going to risk me losing millions and millions of dollars and my freedom it's not happening man what's this dumbass doing i hate to call you dumbass wayne i love your music man not so much recently but the past nowadays it's very dangerous to be a rapper i understand you gotta carry weapon here and there well guess what maybe you should choose a different profession or 
Just stay in the house and make YouTube videos. <laughs> make music videos for YouTube. Just stay in the damn house. You don't need to go on tour. You don't need to go on other states. Just stay home in your multi-million dollar mansion. Play the PS5 and stay far the fuck away from guns, dog. Is he gonna beat this shit? 99.99999% conviction rate says no.